A small radio transmitter broadcasts in a 10-mile radius. If you drive along a straight line from a city 5 miles north and 15 miles west of the transmitter to a second city 5 miles north and 12 miles east of the transmitter, how much of the drive will you pick up a signal from the transmitter? So while this may seem fairly complicated, I think if we take a look at this graphically, it won't be so bad. Let's begin by sketching a circle with a radius of 10 miles on the coordinate plane where the center is at the origin. So the graph of the circle would look like this, and again because the center is at the origin, we know the equation of this circle would be x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared or 100. Now let's find the location of the two cities, where up would be north, down would be south, left would be west, and right would be east. So starting at the origin where the transmitter is located, the first city is 5 miles north and 15 miles west. So from the origin if we go up 5 miles, or north 5 miles, and then left 15 miles, or west 15 miles, that would take us to the end point of this red segment. Let's go ahead and call this point A. Notice how the coordinates would be negative 15 comma 5. Next, the second city is located 5 miles north and 12 miles east. So from the origin we go up 5 miles and right 12 miles to the other endpoint of this red segment. Let's call this point B. Notice how the coordinates would be 12 comma 5. So from driving from point A to point B, notice how so if you drive from point A to point B, notice how you would drive a total of 27 miles from point A to the y-axis is 15, and then from the y-axis to point B would be another 12, 15 plus 12 is 27 miles. But our goal is to determine how much of the drive you can receive signal from the transmitter, which would be from this point to this point. So let's label the length from the y-axis to this point, x, and notice how this would be the same distance from this point to the y-axis due to the symmetry. Which means the total distance here would be equal to 2x. So the last thing we need to solve this problem though is the equation of the line that contains this segment. And notice how the equation of the line that contains this segment would be y equals 5. So now we can algebraically solve this as a system of equations, where one equation would be y equals 5, the other equation would be x squared plus y squared equals 100, to determine the x-coordinates of these two points. But we really only need the positive value of x, so the x-coordinate of this point here, since the total length is just 2 times x. Let's go ahead and set this up on the previous slide. Our system of equations would be y equals 5, and x squared plus y squared equals 100. Let's go ahead and solve this using substitution. So we'll substitute 5 for y in the second equation. So that would give us x squared plus 5 squared equals 100. 5 squared equals 25, so we have x squared plus 25 equals 100. Subtract 25 on both sides would give us x squared equals 75. And now we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. Notice how x could be both positive or negative. So when we take the square root of both sides, we'll include a plus or minus sign here. So we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 75, which can be written as 25 times 3. So x equals plus or minus 5 square root 3. So going back to our graph for a moment, we just found this point of intersection here. We know the y-coordinate is 5, so this point would have coordinates 5 square root 3 comma 5, and this point here would have the coordinates negative 5 square root 3 comma 5. So using the positive value of x, 
So using the positive value of x, where x equals five times square root three, we can now determine how much of the trip you would receive a signal. From here to here would be two times five square root three miles. So two times five square root three would be 10 square root three miles. To get a better idea of what this value is, let's go ahead and get a decimal approximation. 10 times square root three is approximately 17.32, so we'll say approximately 17.32 miles. Remember, the entire trip was 27 miles. If we're not asked to round, though, we probably should give the exact value here, unless it does indicate what place value to round to. I hope you found this explanation helpful.